In the wake of a crisis, research does show that it takes a person three to nine months in order to find their bearings and recalculate a way to move on with their lives. Now we're all kind of recalculating our lives at any given moment anyway, but some people are better at showing resilience or determining their resilience than others. That's not to say that we don't all have a proof of resilience because we're all still here today. So I'd like to share with you today four of my favorite advanced mindset and resiliency tips for success. Sometimes the challenges that we are confronted with far exceed our belief of what a truly challenging time is. If you want to think about an elastic band, right? So an elastic band, when it's pulled to its full capacity, it snaps. And what we want to do with resiliency is we want to extend that snapping point and we want to increase the elasticity or moreover, our re resiliency so that we don't get to that snapping point. Number one, find the drain to your emotional bathtub. When you leave the house each morning or you're getting your kids ready for school and off you go, you never really visualize the unexpected because it is just that, right? It's unexpected. And so things will happen in your day to derail you or sidetrack you. And some things are smaller to bounce back from than others. For instance, let's say you go to your local coffee shop and you're waiting in line, someone budges in front of you. Now it takes you a little time to get over that, right? It's not a very strenuous scenario that you're going to stay frustrated or angry about. So you can bounce back quite quickly and you show your resilience in that regard. But then there's other things that are more strenuous and stressful events, right? You hear some bad news, an altercation with an employee. Maybe it is a confrontation with a coworker or you've made a huge mistake in some proposal that you had to do. You don't get to walk away from those situations and move on and you don't get to shake it off lightly either. So in those instances, what are you gonna do? you're going to find that drain to your emotional bathtub. The water represents fears, stressors, worries, everything that starts to accumulate over time that doesn't serve you. And so what you are going to do is you are going to unplug that drain so that emotional angst and the water is able to flow out and work its way out of your system so that you're able to then react and be more resilient in other scenarios that start to pile up as the water in your bathtub fills. Number two, look at difficulties as an opportunity for recalculation. What do I mean by that? It's usually that we have a plan and an action plan and we follow that from beginning to end. And in most scenarios, this equation works for us and we get to our desired outcome. But what we fail to recognize are the uncertainties and other parts of the equation that we cannot control and the aspects that are out of our zone of control. So this causes great difficulty for many people. And with building resilience, you learn to take those difficulties and channel them into an opportunity to sit back, recalculate, pivot and shift in a new direction. And we found that this world, the COVID world that we've been living in, has given us this perspective, that difficulties, if we choose to look at it from that perspective, can provide opportunity, can provide us for a reset and a recalculation in our lives. We need to recognize that suffering is this inherent part of human level of our existence, but it shouldn't govern the way we live, nor should it determine our course of our days. So. When you are more resilient, you are able to see that suffering from a new perspective or angle, right? So it becomes a different source of motivation to do better, to be better, to improve yourself and your circumstances. Adopt a mindset of excellence and ownership. Your mindset is fundamental in developing a sense of resilience. When you have obstacles that come in your path, it's how you deal with those obstacles that gives you greater resilience, and it does take practice. Many people who have a high resilience level don't blame external factors for things that are happening in their life. They are able to direct their thoughts, feelings, and actions towards the future that they want because they trust themselves and they have faith in their abilities to bring that vision to life. Remember, being resilient allows you to go through the flow rather than with the flow. And resilience instills in you a great sense of confidence knowing that not everything has to be perfect. And number four, 
Live your purpose. Your purpose is a journey, not a destination. And I am so passionate about helping people get to their best selves and their best levels. And you know, purposes are not singular. Purposes should be lived rather than acquired or found. And so like we're human beings, which means our lives are in a perpetual state of change and fluctuation. And we are not stagnant beings, nor should our purposes be either. So most people feel discouraged when they realize they don't know what they want. And then they feel guilty as if they're wasting their time trying to find different things or exploring different avenues so that they can find one purpose that they're passionate about. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Being resilient means that you were able to understand the flexibility of your thoughts because living your purpose at any one given time in your life requires you to look at and accommodate what is happening in your life. And our purposes evolve over time. So that flexibility is integral. Now with anything, it's really important to recap these four advanced mindset and resiliency tips for success so that you can write them down and refer back to them and put some notes in there as to ways that you can recalculate and build your resiliency. So number one, the strategy was find the drain to your emotional bathtub and make sure to unplug it. Number two, look at difficulties as an opportunity for recalculation and difficulties come in many different forms. Write down three different difficulties and look at that from a new perspective on how you can recalculate that situation that you're in. Number three was adopt a mindset of excellence and ownership. And number four, live your purpose. It's a journey, not a destination. So in conclusion, it is reasonable to feel exhausted and disoriented when you're going through difficult times. But the one thing that you need to remember is that you can shift your perspective and look at those difficulties as an opportunity for recalculation into a different trajectory so that you are on a new path to success. Now, I have some wonderful freebies on my website and I also have a perfect course if you are looking for guidance, a step-by-step -step process that happens over four weeks with a fifth bonus week included. And that course is called Discover Your Purpose. And so you can redo this course multiple times, but it's going to help you focus and really get you clear on what it is that you want. And you can find that at my website at www amanda silvacom On there, you will find courses and Discover Your Purpose will be right there for you. Also, click below so that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I thank you so much for being here with me and I hope that this video has helped you immensely. 